Welcome back to Oracle for Startups, where we talk to the innovators who are scaling fast and bringing their solutions to new markets with Oracle Cloud. Today, I am joined by Jean Belanger, the founder and CEO of Cerebri, an AI solution that helps marketers deliver on real-time personalization. John, thank you for joining me. Thank you. So let's start with the basics. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your startup? Right. Well, my name is Jean Belanger. I'm co-founder and CEO of Cerebri AI. Uh, we're based in Austin and in Toronto and Washington, D.C. What we specialize in is an end-to-end -end solution so that uh, we take care of one of the very difficult problems in AI, which is data. It's data science for a reason, data comes first, but data is often the stepchild in terms of technology innovation. So we built a uh, state-of-the-art front end, which allows you seamless talk and uh, streaming uh, AI results. So we have a very unique solution, we believe, for uh, people who want to market uh, globally. So that concept of real-time personalization, what does that look like for me as a consumer? Well, let's say um, you are on an automotive website, you're uh, looking to buy a vehicle, and you've, been, you've bought three convertibles in a row because you're uh, a wild and crazy person, and uh, you're looking at an SUV. Mm. And so the vendor knows you've bought three convertibles in a row, and you're looking at an SUV. So do they offer you a deal on the SUV? Or do they offer you a deal on another convertible? Well, if they knew that your family had a child, a newborn yesterday, the first one, it might be obvious to them that they should offer you a deal on the SUV. That being said, if they don't have the information in and ready to go in the AI models, when they score you to try to figure out what to do when you're on the website, then it's not real time. If you don't gather the information that's in digitally recorded uh, uh, media across the enterprise, break down the silos and do it in real time, you may miss a lot of opportunities. So that's what real time is about. And so what you're talking about is kind of the holy grail for marketers. And why has that been so challenging up to this point? And how does Cerebri address those challenges? The biggest challenge is data. Data resides, and most large enterprises know all about you, a lot about you. So who knows more about you than potentially even your spouse, your cell phone, and your credit card? The cell phone knows where you were, and the credit card knows what you spent. And that, that covers a lot of ground. So vendors that you interact with on a constant basis know a lot about you, but the, the information is broken down into silos. So you have the marketing information, the sales information, the product information, your complaints on call center, et cetera, et cetera. So that is all being broken down and put into one place for each customer. That's called a customer journey. If the information is timely, I'm going to make better. The AI models are super powerful. And so that's the second thing is why does AI work today and it didn't work 10 years ago? Because of the cloud, low cost computing, relatively speaking, and the ability to scale. So mm -hmm. you're able to scale cloud up and down. One of the reasons why we're on OCI, Oracle Cloud. So I'm glad you're talking about scaling. You've just launched your third generation platform called CVX3. How has your tool evolved since previous iterations? When we started in January uh, 2016, we had a blank sheet of paper, and uh, today we have uh, a very state-of-the-art pipeline from data touching our system all the way through to actions and sent back to whoever needs them. So it's been a dramatic uh, development because we've spent almost five and a half years, and so we're really uh, we're just really excited because this the idea of real time is really really hard to do right so you've iterated your platform you're scaling on oracle cloud at this point who is your dream customer we've dealt with mostly with uh, global brands large companies um, ai is really the revenge of the large enterprise large enterprises know a lot about you 
they don't have to sell the information. They don't have to do all of that nefarious stuff that everybody talks about. The reality is they can serve you better. So speaking of revenge, or maybe we could call it the renaissance of the enterprise, how does Sarah Bree work with enterprise solution stacks like Oracle CX? Well, the first thing is we need a, we need a, uh, we need a, a global presence. So uh, because of privacy laws, whether you're GDPR laws in Europe or whether you're in the United States with the California uh, laws or whether you're in Mexico, uh, we have a customer in Qatar, one in the UK, Canada, all of these countries now do not want their data wandering the globe. Okay. So the cloud situation that we have to deal with is we need local presence. It's very, very important. So Oracle has a global footprint with footprint which really helps and then the second thing is the tools that are available in the context of the cloud uh, in terms of having uh, scalability and all the other things uh, that's a that's an ob uh, obvious necessity and uh, we've been very very pleased we, we've we've run on three different clouds and uh, we're really really thrilled with the oracle and how they treat startups what advice do you have for startups or scale-ups who are considering joining a corporate program like Oracle for Startups? Well, the, uh, we, like I said, we, we've, uh, we've worked on three different clouds and the, the program from Oracle is the best one for startups, period, in terms of uh, availability, pricing, you know, all the things that matter uh, when you're trying to start. And especially in our case where we do a lot of pilots and, uh, you know, we get data from customers and sometimes they're, uh, you know, the biggest one we did was 10 billion events. So that was for one customer wow. who had uh, five and a half million customers. And that was about 12% uh, of the total customer base. Wow. And they had, uh, they, they, had, they had over two and a half years, they had 10 billion events. So these things, these things get pretty chunky mm -hmm. and uh, lots of number crunching. So. Uh, price matters, the tools matter, the global footprint. Yeah, so it's a great program. We're thrilled to be in it. I love that because if startups want to save 70% off cloud for two years, going to oracle.com slash startup is a great place to start. I didn't know if I was allowed to mention it, but it's that is that is uh, awesome. Absolutely. And uh, uh, I know uh, we're fairly cognizant of, uh, of pricing on various platforms and that, and that's that's just a great deal for us. Absolutely, as to as you want to extend your runway or try new tools, optimize workloads, it makes a serious difference for a scaling startup. I'll just give you the context. For us, this year, it probably means one very high level data scientist I can hire more than I would have been able to hire. That's huge. That's a serious yes. difference. Yeah. If people want to know more about Cerebri, where should they go? Cerebriai.com. Cerebri is Latin for brain. It's not a funny name we did in a contest or anything. It actually means something, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> All right, you heard it here first, folks. Cerebri actually means something. And for marketers, it means real-time personalization and optimization of data. Jean, thank you so much for joining me. Okay, great. Thank you for having me.